or back over with Connor. We have to go see Amanda yet again. Oh, great. What is this thing over here to the left? I've tried messing with it before. What if I try messing with it again? Like, I have no idea what we're doing with that. Are, like, are we, like, depositing our hopes and dreams or some shit? We are walking on ice. That is risky. I feel like she's going to kill us here. Since we're on ice. She's probably After not happy with us. Today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But mm -hmm. he chose not to ask. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Where does Cyberlife stand in all this? What do they really want? All Cyberlife wants is to resolve the situation and keep selling androids. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. And why are we standing on Find ice? Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. Yeah, I'm not even trying with Amanda anymore. <laughs> I don't really care where that relationship goes. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time. I'm sure we. Hank, could... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to Cyberlife. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Hmm. Yeah, there's really nothing I want to say to him. Nothing I can say to him. I've never spoken to him before. Never really wanted to. I guess we'll go talk with Hank. I'm going to take his side and whatever. Hank's cool. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? <laughs> Fuck that. They're going to kill no me. Choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. Now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. Oh, shit. Uh... I'm not a deviant, Hank. I'm a machine. Nothing more. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, 
Who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Oh, great. Another one of these moments. The basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. All right. To the archive room we go. You fucking cocksucker. Hopefully we can pull this off. Do we actually have... Yeah, we do have a time limit. Fuck. Okay, Hank is, I think, killing that guy. That's great. Well, let's see what we can do. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. Okay. <laughs> Frick. Yeah, I didn't want to fight him or anything. I just wanted them to leave. Oh shit! Goddamn camera angles. They really steer me in the wrong direction. Hopefully we can figure something out down here. I don't really even know where I'm going. Oh, except right here. So we're gonna lay it all on here on the table. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Something really basic. Date of birth, fucking password. <laughs> Obviously. That was good. Okay. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Uh, Not much time. Gotta think fast. Yep, that's not going to tell us anything, so I guess we'll just put that back. Good thing I uh, picked that up, huh? Uh, Marcus. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? Yeah, I guess that's what we gotta figure out. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else here. Um, no, it doesn't seem like it. Hopefully we got enough evidence out of everything that we've been through to figure the something out. Possible reactivation. It's got functional bio components. What about this guy? One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Needed for reactivation. We may be able to bring this guy back to life. Okay. We have another android over here, though. As fucked up as he is. The deviant who took a child hostage. Let's see what he has. I don't think he'd know anything. We can take his 3983. Who knows, maybe he did know something. 
and I'm just an idiot. Hopefully he doesn't kill us. It's dark. Where? Where am I? Uh, we're gonna trick his ass. I'm a deviant. Like you. I need your help. I want to go to Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Well, uh, shit, how the fuck do we trick him? Oh, we can use this guy. He needs a 4717. Does this guy over here have a 47? Yes, he does. I mean, he can't be reactivated, so... Fuck him, right? Long time no see. You lied to me, Connor. I trusted you and you lied to me. You were going to kill that child. You gave me no choice. I need to find Jericho. Do you know where it is? You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day you pay for what you did to me. Yeah, and I probably will. God damn it. So we can't use him to trick? I thought we would be able to. Hmm. How the fuck do we trick him? Reactivate the androids, interrogate interrogate an other android. All right. I don't think there's anything else we can do. There's nothing here. Is there anything else that we can use here? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I don't want to play this again. Sample voice. Hell yeah. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Here we go. Now I feel like we can do something. Hopefully. Who's there? Now we just gotta talk like Marcus. Everything is alright. Don't worry. Marcus? Is that you? I tried to reach you, but the Deviant Hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. Give me the location to Jericho. No, that's you not gonna work me. out. The location of Jericho? Yes. Oh. Yes, of course. Here we go. <laughs> you dumb fuck. Now we will know the location. Sorry, buddy. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm! Now! Interesting. Oh, shit. There were a lot of different things we could have done back there. God damn. Okay. We eluded Perkins. Uh, it's not telling me whether I was in the majority or not. We located Jericho, which was good. Apparently, there was a way that this could have gone, which is where we just don't locate it. Um, and apparently, maybe we could have been found out by uh, Perkins, which could have been bad. But no, I guess we did it in time, and no worries. To Canada we go. And here we are in the car yet again. Hello, Rose. You're a very nice person for helping us out. 
I guess let's see what's on the news. Oh, no, we're just listening to music. With oh, there we go. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing. Water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. Oh. How about some music instead? Yeah, that's fine. Completely fine with that. What's going on here in the back? Nothing? All right. I guess let's look out the window. They've oh, been shit. Conducting raids all over the city. Okay. Well, I really wasn't expecting it's that. Right. I hope it's going to be all right. I hope we don't get fucking shot. I swear, one of the main characters are eventually going to die. And I'm sorry if it happens. I'm truly sorry in advance. These cars are really neat. In the interior, not the uh, exterior. All right, so what are we doing here? A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. <gasps> when you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much. Yeah, 50 bucks. I have not seen a $50 bill in Ontario, so long. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Hey, man. Luther's my big, strong man. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. Yeah, I feel like that'd be a bad thing. So characters are going to be meeting very soon. We just got to get on that freighter. What's going on? Oh shit! All three characters are gonna be meeting. Motherfucker, am I gonna have to do the same shit as before? Okay, it's doing it for me. Good. Because I did not want to have to do that again. Shit. All characters are going to be meeting. This could go really well or really poorly. I'm crossing my fingers on really well. But uh, knowing my luck, we're going to be losing a character or two. God damn. Oh, we're heading back over to Connor, I think. Nope. We're on we're on the freighter, I guess. Holy fuck. This place got really popular. This is truly a refugee camp now. It really looks like one. Hopefully they don't notice that there's a human here. Okay, I don't want to watch that. I'll just get upset. Or Kara will. Well, there's a fire. And no one's around here, so... Should be okay. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. She's probably like running the largest fever known to man. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. 
I'll be back. Stay with Alice. I don't know. That kind of seemed important. Oh, shit. I really am going to have to choose this side here, since I'm playing as many androids with multiple different sides. Don't catch anyone's attention? Oh, I'll try not to. Uh, yeah, let's not go over there. Can I go up the stairs? You're lost. She's not wrong. Okay. It's them or us. We gotta destroy these bastards before they kill We really gotta try and find uh, Marcus here. I mean, think this was He's here. really got like a group going on here. I don't know if you could really call it an army, but definitely quite a lot of people. Monsters. 